Been proposed by Honorable Sankaire, and I'll give a chance to the chairperson of the Finance Committee to contribute on that. Honorable Chair, I do uh, the committee during windowing. We did agree with Honorable Lea Sanka, uh, the Honorable Lea on zero rating this uh, local manufacture of biodegradable science titles. And most importantly, Honorable Chair, the committee also proposes deletion of paragraph H, I, J, and K. Honorable Chair, this is by making sure that we zero rate all raw materials that are used for uh, local manufacturing of diapers and sanitary towels. And most important, Honorable Speaker, is, is, Honorable Chair, is important to mention that further up, we are providing for exemption from, from taxation for all diapers and sanitary towels in this country, Honorable Chair. In addition, uh, this particular clause is providing for zero rating of local manufacture of fertilizer, of local manufacture of, 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 uh, of, of, of all the micronutrients and follow fees that are used in, a, in a adding value to our fertilizer, zero rating tea packaging materials, zero rating uh, uh, mosquito repellents, zero rating raw materials that are used for the manufacture of bioethanol stoves, zero rating for materials that are used for a local assembly of our mobile phones, zero rating raw materials that are used for, for the local assembly of electric motorcycles. And this is to make sure that we remain marketable as a country and we support manufacturing of the Republic of Kenya. In addition, we are, pro, uh, we are taking back to zero rate uh, uh, taxation on bread. And therefore, this would mean that ordinary bread and gluten bread and unleavened bread will remain zero rated. So no taxes will be increased on bread on Abuja. Let me give a... Uh, honorable uh, member for Kinango, Honorable Thuku Kwea. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, I rise to support this amendment by the Chair uh, of Kewapa. And Madam Speaker, for a simple reason. We are trying to encourage local manufacturing. And therefore, if we, we in, uh, once we exempt um, raw materials from tax, then for sure we are going to create employment and indeed we are going to protect uh, local manufacturing. Thank you, Speaker. Majority leader. Thank you, Chair. Chair, I rise to support. Honorable Chair, Kenyans have had expressed their reservations on taxation on bread. The committee listened, and there will be no tax on bread, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, Kenyans also expressed their reservations on VAT, on diaspora remittances, VAT on money transfers, and all these taxes also, Honorable Speaker, are now removed. There will be no taxation on bread, there will be no taxation on remittances, and I saw Honorable Speaker yesterday, a beautiful young lady in Washington demonstrating outside the Kenyan Embassy and claiming that there was a VAT on remittances, Honorable Speaker, that had been sneaked into this bill. I want to speak to Kenyans in the diaspora, including the young, beautiful lady, Purity Muamuoyo, or Muamuoyo, to inform her that the lies, the misinformation, the disinformation, the political propaganda that has been peddled around this bill, Honorable Speaker, is now dispelled by this amendment, and I beg to support. Honorable members, <coughs> honorable members, I now put the question that clause 34 be amended as proposed by Honorable Lea Sankaire. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as of the contrary opinion say nay? Yes. The eyes have it. Honorable members, I now put the question that clause 34 as amended, be part of the bill as proposed by Honorable Lea Sankairem. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? Will as many as of that, the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it.